Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRuck's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2012. The CozyRuck tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about uploading attachments or documents to Microsoft's Dynamic CRM. We'll be putting the documents into the annotation entity, which is displayed in Dynamic CRM as Note. I'll be uploading all of the Word documents that are listed in an Excel spreadsheet. The important columns in this spreadsheet are the ones labeled Doc Path, Account ID, and ID Type. The account ID is the GUID of the account with which we want the document to be associated. And the ID type of 1 tells CRM that we're working with an account ID and not the ID for some other entity. So now we'll configure our package. And the first thing we need to do is set up our connection managers. So we'll use Excel Plus Connection Manager from Cozy Rock to point at the Excel spreadsheet that I just showed you. And that connection is good. And now we'll set up the connection manager for Dynamic CRM, which also is a Cozy Rock component. And we'll choose CRM 2011 Plus. And our deployment is Office 365. And then I'll type in my username. And I paste in my password. And then I choose the organization, which of course is Cozy Rock. And we test the connection, and that's good. So we're done configuring our connection managers. Now we'll use Cozy Rock's Excel Source Plus component to read that spreadsheet. And we'll change the name to Get Attachment Info. And we'll go in and configure it. And we select the connection manager that we just set up. And choose the worksheet called Doc Info. And we have seven columns of information there that we want to use in the package. And there's all seven columns. Now we can actually preview all the data from the spreadsheet right here. OK, so we're done configuring that component. Now we need to find the transformation called Import Column. I'm going to use this to load the documents. So we'll go in and configure this transformation. And we go to Input Columns. And we select Doc Path, because that's the column that points at the documents that we want to load. So there you see Doc Path under the Input Columns. And now we need to add a column under the Output Columns. And we name it File Data. Now we look at the lineage ID, and that's 47. So we go back to the doc path, and we put 47 in the file data column ID. Now we're done configuring that transformation. And this is where we'll use Cozy Rock's Dynamic CRM Destination Component. And we'll name it Create Annotation Entities. And so we'll set up the component to use the Dynamic CRM Connection Manager we just set up. And we go to Component Properties, and we leave the action set to Create. And we choose Annotation for the Entity. And now we'll go to column mapping. So we need to map a few columns manually. So we'll map file data to document body. That's where the contents of the documents will go. And then we map account ID to object ID. And we'll map ID type to object ID type code so that CRM knows it's an account ID and not an ID for some other entity. And we want to see the results of this operation, so we're going to tell it to redirect rows instead of failing the component if there's an error. 
We'll actually get information about each annotation record that was created, whether there was an error or not. We're going to use CozyRock's Excel Destination Plus component to receive the results of the CRM upload operation. So we connect the red arrow from the CRM destination component. And now we go back in to configure this component and we choose the same connection manager as we used earlier, the Excel connection manager, but we choose a different worksheet in that Excel file. And now you can see all of the columns that are going to be written into the spreadsheet and we're going to need to eliminate one of them because it's a data type of image and we can't handle that in the Excel file, of course. So we'll remove the column called File Data. It's the column that contains the document contents. And now we're ready to execute the package. All right, and we have success. So we stop debugging. We'll take a look at the results and everything looks good. And here's the worksheet with the results of the upload operation. And you can see the new IDs that were assigned to the annotation records that were created. And the negative one in the error code column means that there were no errors. Now we'll go take a look at the annotations that we just added to Dynamic CRM. And the way I display them is I click on Advanced Find. And then where it says look for, I choose note. And then I choose all notes and I click on results. And there you can see the three documents that we just uploaded. I'll choose the first one. And here you can see regarding and the name of the account with which I associated this document. And I'll download the document. And we'll open it. And there you can see it's one of the documents we uploaded. In this video, I showed you how to upload documents to Dynamic CRM by putting each of them into an annotation entity using Cozy Rock's Dynamic CRM destination component. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.